You've probably seen that little line under stock charts bouncing between zero and 100. That's the RSI or relative strength index. It's one of the most widely used tools in trading. And when you understand it, you can spot exhaustion and price moves before everyone else does. So here's the idea. The RSI measures how fast and how strong recent price movements are. It's basically a momentum gauge. Think of it as the speedometer of the market. If the market's been climbing too fast, RSI tells you it might be overheating. If it's been selling off hard, RSI shows when it's likely due for a breather. Now RSI runs on a scale from zero to 100. Anything above 70 usually signals that an asset is overbought. It's been bought aggressively and might be due for a cool down. Anything below 30 means it's oversold, selling pressure could be fading and a reversal might be near. But here's where traders get it wrong. RSI doesn't automatically mean buy below 30 or sell above 70. Markets can stay overbought or oversold for a long time, especially during strong trends. Instead, experienced traders use RSI to confirm what price action is already suggesting. For example, imagine Bitcoin rallies for two straight weeks and RSI pushes up to 85. That tells you momentum is extremely hot. It doesn't mean short right away, but it's a warning that the move could be stretched. On the other hand, if RSI dips to 25 while the price touches a strong support zone, that might signal buyers are quietly stepping back in. You can also watch for RSI divergences. That's when the price makes a new high, but RSI doesn't. It's a subtle hint that momentum is weakening and a reversal could be forming. The same works on the downside. If price hits a new low but RSI doesn't, that's called a bullish divergence. Momentum is improving even though price hasn't caught up yet. RSI typically uses a 14 period setting, meaning it looks back at the last 14 candles on your chart, whether that's minutes, days, or weeks. Traders sometimes tweak this setting to be faster or slower depending on their style. Short-term traders might use a seven period RSI for quicker signals, while long-term investors prefer a 21 period to smooth out the noise. The bottom line, RSI isn't about calling tops or bottoms. It's about reading momentum. It helps you understand when a move is slowing down, when buyers are getting tired, and when sellers might be overdoing it. Used alongside support and resistance or volume analysis, it becomes one of the most reliable indicators for timing smart entries and exits. If you've ever been caught buying right before a pullback or selling right before a bounce, mastering RS, I can help you see those shifts before they happen.